في صدوركم وعليها and on them وعلى الفلك and, and on ships تحملون you are carried by the creator وعليها وعلى الفلك تحملون like the ayah ولقد كرمنا بني آدم وحملناهم في البر والبحر ورزقناهم من الطيبات وفضلناهم على كثير ممن خلقنا تفضيلا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we have given superiority to the son of Adam وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ and we carried them في, البح في البر والبحر in the earth and on water in the land and in the sea في البر والبحر وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ and we provided them of foods of good things lawful things of وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ this is Ad, this is the son of Adam. Allah Azza wa Jal carried them in the land and in the sea. And here, Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wa al fulki and on ships tuhmalun." You are carried. Who created the sea? Who made it suitable for uh, for ship? Proper for ship? Who? made all these things for us so that we can uh, use the ship for our needs وَعَلَيْهَا and on the cattle and on the camels for example you are carried وَعَلَى الْفُلْكِ and on ships you are carried تُحْمَلُونَ these are essential things in our life but the main question who created them? Who created the sea? It's proper for us. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the sea, we will, we will say, bring it back. We need it. We, we are aware, we are already aware that this earth is designed for the human being, for the need of human being, not just this earth, the heavens also. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ It is Allah who created whatever in the sky and whatever on earth for you. وَسَخَّرَ For example, the sun, it's created for you. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ And He created the moon for you. It is the creation of Allah and the human being is in the center. He benefits of them. And he used their uh, their ben uh, benefits. At this point, Allah Azza wa Jal asks him, "You use and you benefit of them. Why do you not think about them, reflect upon them? Who created them? Why everything is ready for you on the earth? Why everything is easy for you on the earth?" why everything is ready for example the air we breathe it every moment who created it for us you cannot, it, you cannot find any single planet other than earth which is suitable for human being like this like this one who created this one for us and why we are here on this earth exactly on this earth and not in somewhere else who put us on this planet we should think about it and at the end we should say the one who created the earth and the one who created us the one who created the heavens and the earth it's all the same creator and we should respect him we should prostrate ourselves before him the only one God all these signs, all these ayat for us in order to realize the power of Allah, the knowledge of Allah and how He is merciful upon us. These, all these blessings out of His mercy, the only one God. So 
you eat of, you eat of the, you eat them. For example, the camel. Camel may be eaten or ridden, and its milk uh, is drunk. And similarly, um, the cows. The cow is eaten, and its milk is also uh, drunk. And the sheep is eaten, and its uh, milk is drunk. And all of these, the air and the wool of all these animals, as uh, used for making tents and clothing and furnishing we use them and everyone every human being here on the earth is aware about them he knows how they are beneficial in our lives so the question who created them and the answer the only one God that's how we know the God, through his signs. So we can introduce the Creator over these animals. The one who created the cattle is our God. Allahu alladhi ja'ala lakum al anham Let's move on to the ayah number 81. وَيُرِيكُمْ Ayatihi, and he shows you his ayat. Wa yurikum ayat, and he is showing to you his ayat right now. He is showing to you. You are going on a journey. You are traveling. You are having pleasure, but every moment in that travel, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala shows to you his ayat when you see uh, the sea, when you see the mountains, when, the sea, when you see uh, the animals, wherever you go, you realize that the Creator, out of His mercy, provided you, for, provided for humanity their needs. This is His sign, and that how He shows you His sign. This is the Creator, and actually we have that faculties. When we see them, we realize and understand them. The one who created this Im uh, image, the one who created the, he the heavens and the earth, and whatever before our, uh, our eyes, he didn't neglect the behind of our eyes. He arranged what ever we need behind these eyes so we have the heart we have many many other faculties so we can analyze and understand the beauty of the creation we can understand how powerful this creation and we can understand how much non knowledgeable that one who created them this is the human being who can realize who can understand his creator and because of that reason he should respect him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him that ability understanding the power of his creator understanding uh, the qudra uh, and knowledge his creator after this understanding we should respect him not, de not just deny him. Some people, after understanding him, they denying, denying him. They deny him. And they overlook his uh, rights over them. وَيُرِيكُمْ ayati, And he shows you his ayat. فَأَيَّ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تُنْكِرُونَ Then, which of his ayat can you deny? Which of his signs, the signs of the only one God, how can you deny them? 
it's impossible. It's not conceivable for a human being to deny his creator, to deny the creator of this earth, and to deny the creator of this universe, while he see how it's how how big the intelligence in this creation. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا. ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا. ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به. واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا. أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته.